Say hello. hello. Hi everyone, this is Mom, also known as Maria. Today we went ahead and made her up, we did a little glam, but we worked on uh, neutralizing some redness and covering up some darkness on her skin. So if you would like to see a tutorial on how to get this look and uh, do a little color correcting, we just wanted a nice fresh spring ready face. Did a little bit of a, a smoldery dark brown eye, nothing too crazy, no glitters or anything like that. And we just made her skin look fresh and young and the under eye is nice and bright. I think it turned out really nice. Do you have a party? I do. See, mama feels party. So if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Bye. We're going to start with a little Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. This is going to help refresh the face and it helps the redness because of the green tea. We're going to use a little uh, Milani Prime Light. It's an illuminating primer. So it's just going to help brighten your face. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not glitter. I'm just going to put that on with the Beauty Blender. We're going for the glowy goddess look here. Since we're going to make sure that we are SPF okay, she's going to put on a little Sugar Sport Fresh. It's an SPF sunscreen lip balm with SPF 30. I keep those lips moisturized too. For a little extra added uh, smoothing, we're going to use the ins the Baby Insta Pore Eraser just to smooth out her pores a little bit. All right, now that your face is primed and ready to go, we're going to do a little color correcting. First, we're going to go in with the It Bye Bye Redness. And that's just going to be in this area, the cheek and nose area. And I think we're going to go a little on the forehead too, just to uh, get rid of some of that redness. This is a neutralizing color corrector. And then we're going to do a little bit of the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Color Corrector under the eyes for brightness. I'm just going to use a little Sephora concealer brush. I think that, see how that amount right there on the brush? I think that's going to be enough for your whole thing. So, yeah, I just want to bounce on the face, pressing the product into the face, never swiping or rubbing. You can do like a, that's how I go. And then all this. So this is a nice salmon color. This is, we're just going in with the same Sephora brush. This is going to help conceal some of the darkness before you actually go in with concealer in, in place. Can you look up a little bit? Okay. Alright, for foundation today we're using the Lancome 24 hour, but she's in the shade 420. And this is a nice little uh, 10 day sample that you can go to your local Lancome counter and just get for free. So you can try it out. How much did they say it costs? 47? 47. 48 so it's pricey you want to try it out before you actually buy it just a little bit here, here, here. gives us really nice coverage look how smooth kind of looks compared to the other side where mm -hmm. you still have blotchy the foundation front where they go together she feels like for her it makes a difference mm -hmm. All right, to conceal, we're gonna go in with the Tarte Maracuja Con Creaseless Concealer. This is a really nice full coverage concealer. We're using the shade Medium Sand. Yeah. 
To set the under eye, we're going to go with the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder. Do you want to bring it down a little bit? And just pounce away until it blends in. You need this brush right here, the Morphe E1. Very lightly. I'm just like flipping whole head so we can do this. Going to bronze up the skin, kind of bring the life back to it with the Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. And we're using the O2 Fake Tan. It's a duo colored bronzer. This is a really good bronzer for the price. And we're just going in with a Sephora powder brush. We're just creating an optical illusion, basically. Making the cheekbone appear more prominent. So we're kind of contouring a little bit when we do this. Mm -hmm. And then just around the temple. Almost just center. We're going to brush the eyebrows That's left upward. We're using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. I'm going to start the bottom and get the line down for the very bottom and then we'll, we'll put it in. And then I like to do the top, but I'm not going to get all the way here because I don't want to make like a box in the front because that looks tidy. I want it to look as natural as possible. Once you do that, you can start at the bottom and kind of make like hair like strokes upward across on this side and then downwards over here. And then with just a little bit of bronzer, you can go a little bit to the flat part and then bring it up. Just kind of create that front part. We're going to do a little bronzy look on the eyes, nothing crazy. We are going to go in with the Morphe 35R palette. Just going to start with this neutral bone color on a Morphe M505. And just yeah, close your eyes. It's just a very light base. Just light where that bone is right there. Push up on it and sweep it in. Can you take a picture of me? I heard that. Oh. <laughs> then with a more precise blending brush, we're going to go in with the Morphe E36. And we're just going to go back to that warm color. And you go all the way up. I'm just going to do a little bit on the lower lash line just to kind of tie the look together. going to go with this one. This is a nice little smudger brush. And you're going to close your eyes. And I'm going to press it into the lash line to kind of create darker lash line without using like a liquid liner or a pencil liner. Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Highlight a little in the inner corner. is a Morphe M310 fan brush and we're just going to lightly highlight the tops of the cheek. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush palette in Pin Up Girl. It's my favorite blushes. We're going to take this almost like skin tone color. Maybelline Great Lash in dark brown.
I'm gonna do, do one squirt of the all-nighter makeup setting.